Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 14 of the May League of Daddy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm, this video. I don't know. Stay good. Oh, what, what am I saying? Hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Did I just say that? I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on in my head, but hopefully it still has enough to solve this farm. Today, let's look at 1219. Path with maximum gold. The gold mine grid of all time C. I always read it all time C. I don't know. Each cell has an integer represent amount of gold, and that cell zero is empty. Okay, you can collect. You're trying to collect the max gold. You're at. Da, 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 you can move up, down, left, right. You can never get more cell more than once. Never visit a cell with zero gold. You can stop and collect gold from any position in the grid that has some gold. So this is probably going to be backtracking. Uh. It is definitely very awkward though, because it is, um, I mean, sometimes it is it's tricky to tell with these grid problems because uh, having additional constraint, which a grid is over um, a planar graph or general graph, may make it not NP, but the general, uh, the general problem is NP though, right? Because basically you're, you're doing uh, traveling salesperson, uh, not visiting the same city twice or sell more than once and then you have some cost of getting around and some something like this right with edges or whatever and in this case it's not planar because you know but uh yeah so i guess the question is is this and the thing is that I mean, I think it's just going to be, uh, what's it called, branch and bound or something like this. But it's still, like, very annoying to go, uh, right? But yeah, but let's just try the way. So the thing that I always try to do, and this is not really a competitive programming thing, because it's very hard to do these for competitive programming, because... Um, there's always going to be some challenge edge case that will be the max complex complexity, right? So you can't really optimize for it. But what I would like to do is just kind of do the most naive thing first and then see if we uh, can optimize it down a little bit because in the worst case, it, or in the general case, it is go going to be NP, right? It's going to be exponential. Um, is it NP hard? Maybe it's hard. I don't know. Uh, right, so then here we go, okay, um, uh, let's say, uh, was it, we have XY, um, maybe the current number of code, uh, and then maybe we'll just have a best is equal to zero, right, and then we'll kick it off by doing something like, da -da 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 -da, right, <clears throat> the thing about knowing about MP problems is that you don't, spend too much time trying to find a better solution so that's one thing that i forgot to say but uh yeah ij and zero to start right current gold and we want to say if grid of ij is greater than zero right then we visit it <coughs> uh and maybe we can just say uh p for previous da -da 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 -da, grid of ij j is equal to zero well, eh, maybe I'll do it in the thing. Right? If grid of x y is is zero, then we return. Otherwise, we set x y zero zero, right? So that we don't call back to it. And then at the end, we just you know after we do all the recursion, we set it back. Uh, and then now we do up down left way, right? So we'll do, set directions. We'll do, we'll do a um down up left right right and this is dx dy the way that i use it is like this right uh, and grid of x and y is greater than zero then we visit 
um, NXNY current. Um, hmm. I guess here I should just do and current plus grid of NXNY, right? Uh, and then, of course, maybe here we can do non-local best. Best is equal to max best and current. That should be good, but we'll see, right? I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll check for correctness first, and then we'll check for uh, time after. Let's give it a quick submit. Apparently I did it in C previously in five years ago. They're using problems of five years ago. Two seconds. I don't know what to make of this. Can we do a little bit better? We definitely can. We can do branch and bound. Uh, I have some ideas about optimizing, but like I said, in the worst case, it's still all going to be the same. So it's, you know, it's just like, right? Uh, for one, for example, you can do like a connected components thing. And with a connected components thing, of all the islands, if you will, or yeah, islands. Um, you could do like a sum of that, so then now you know what, um, uh, as you kind of uh, go do recursion, you can maybe play around with getting the max. So then here you can do like current and then the max of a current cell or something like this, and then uh, return early if you're smart. Um, so there are ideas like that, but like I said, it, in the worst case, it's all going to be th this. This slow, so I don't know how. Uh, I guess I did the same thing last time, uh, except I did it inside that loop. Uh, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. This is exponential. I'm not going to go over it too deep. Like I said, it's NP, right? So yeah. Uh, actually, let's check out what they did. Backtracking, okay. Uh, buffer. You could do buffer search of depth. I mean, I guess you can, but is it really? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You would have to like do some crazy copying, so I don't know. Yeah, it is exponential. Okay, fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Eh, I'm going to do an extra problem afterwards, so stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Let me show you my code. Uh, I guess this is the entire girl. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.